This is the Getting Into Alignment podcast. Here we play in the quantum world of possibilities. If you desire it, you get to have it. My name is Alexa Ray Smith. I'm a business coach and spiritual teacher for women in business. I'm here to help you unlock your personal power and tap into your magnetism so that you can manifest the most incredible life for yourself and build the business of your dreams. These episodes will help you plug into the energy of infinite potentiality and teach you the tools you need to play in this world where limitations don't exist. On this podcast, I'll be talking to you about energetics, mindset, embodiment, spirituality, money, and business. Everything that you want is on the other side of you getting into alignment. What's up, everyone? Welcome back to the Getting Into Alignment podcast. I'm your host, Alexa Ray Smith. It has been a minute. It has been a minute. If you follow me on Instagram, which if you're not, I am back on Instagram full force, so you might just want to go follow me over there. That's the only social media account that isn't Alexa Ray Smith. I keep messaging this person. It's a ghost account. They won't give me the name. Anyway, so it's Smith Alexa Ray. But make sure you're following me on there because I am full blown back on Instagram. Never thought I would say that, but here we are. If you've been around for a minute, you know the journey. So I mentioned on Instagram that the reason why the podcast was taking a break was because last month in the month of April, I had launched a 30-day manifestation challenge. And this challenge was called Unwavering. And every day for 30 days, I dropped an audio. So essentially every single day for 30 days, I had recorded a podcast episode and I had dropped it in for all of the students in Unwavering. And when I tell you that the one thing that I do not love doing (laughs) in my business, like this is probably the only thing that I do in my business that I really don't love doing is editing podcasts. So for me to have recorded and edited a podcast every single day for 30 days, your girl was tired. There was no way in hell I was going to be recording podcast episodes during that time. So that's where I was. If you missed me, hi, I'm back and I'll be recording more podcast episodes now going forward. I just needed to take that little break for myself. So I took, it's May 9th, so I took like a little over a week off and it was so rejuvenating. And I know that the last time I recorded the podcast, I was like, I'm not going to be giving you updates. We're just going to get into it. But here we are. (laughs) Contradictions are a sign of evolution. So what has happened? What has transpired over? And I think this is really valuable to share. So that's why I'm sharing this. What has transpired? over the time of me recording Unwavering is, and this is honestly, this has been on the precipice. This is something that has been coming to the surface, but I was just really examining how I wanted to move through this. So when I got to day 28 of Unwavering, I honestly was like, what the fuck could I even say about manifestation at this point? Like, quite honestly, what the hell else could I even teach these people? If I look back at the last two years of my business specifically, I have pumped out so much fucking manifestation content. Y'all, I'm talking five videos a day on TikTok, and I'm not one of those people that talks fluff. I'm not somebody that was like dancing or using trending audios. Five videos a day, every video was around three to sometimes 10 minutes long where I was giving you value. Like I always tell you that my free content would change your fucking life if you're that person that can lead yourself and apply it. But I do not gatekeep in my world. So every day, I, like Sunday through Sunday, every day I was posting five videos a day. I was editing them. I was recording them. Like they weren't batched every single day. Almost probably five days out of the week, I was going live and I was teaching, and I was coaching, and I was supporting y'all on TikTok, and those were typically two hours long, honestly, typically two and a half hours long. 
They were then getting reposted on my YouTube channel so people could rewatch them. And during that time, I was also mentoring clients on manifestation. I was also creating an insane amount of programs because if you know, like I'm a manifesting generator in human design, I am not going to be that creator, that coach, that mentor that has one program and I just continuously relaunch it. Like that to me completely defeats the purpose of having an online education business, which is really what the what the basis of my business is. Yes, I mentor and I coach clients, but quite honestly, I typically don't trade my time for money. I am typically creating evergreen programs, which I create it once, I launch it once, and then I sell it forever. So I, and I love this because you get to meet me. My very first program that I created, like video modules program that I created was Soul Manifestation. And that was a program that at the time when I was creating it, I thought that it would just be this one program and I would record it and I would keep selling it because that is what I saw in the industry. Halfway through recording that program, I was like, this isn't it. This is what this isn't how I want this to be. So I say this because when I was recording that program was when I was still going to school for my life and success coaching certification, for my EFT tapping certification, for my hypnotherapy certification, for my neuro-linguistic programming certification with a specification on time techniques. So the Alexa, that baby Alexa that was teaching you in soul manifestation was the Alexa that literally had just quit her eight-year career with the New York state government that had manifested a move to Southern Florida and moved to Boca Raton within, when I tell you, less than two weeks from me deciding where I was moving because I had no location mobility when I worked for the New York state government. Obviously, I had to work for New York state. And if you don't know, on day one of training, I wasn't even in the building for two hours. They said, do you have any questions? And I raised my hand and I said, do you have any reciprocity with other states? (laughs) And she was like, Alexa, you have not even started your job here and you're already asking if you can go somewhere else. And I was like, yeah, like I don't want to be in New York State forever. So from the day that I decided, I something channeled through to me and I was like, I'm moving to Fort Lauderdale. And honestly, I, I hate Fort Lauderdale. I know that a lot of people love it, but I hated it there. So I'm so, so grateful that I was maybe like 15 minutes outside of it, Boca's outside of it. So I decided to move to like this channel through and I took all of the aligned actions. I asked myself, what would I do if I was somebody who was living in Florida? And I recorded a YouTube video on this and then I don't think I ever posted this video. But so I ended up, I guess I'll just tell you now. So I ended up creating a dating app saying that I was in Fort Lauderdale. I ended up meeting this guy who I knew that I wasn't attracted to or interested in, but something was like, just talk to him. He ended up having a room for rent in his townhouse that had a bathroom attached to it. He lived in like the most beautiful area of Boca. It was perfect. I could get to Trader Joe's in three minutes. I could get to a gym really quickly. It was in this gorgeous area. I could walk across the street and like my favorite restaurant was right across the street. They had an amazing happy hour. They had gluten-free pizza. It was, everything just worked out. So when I tell you I decided to move to Southern Florida, pinpointed where I wanted to move to, the universe was like, you're actually not going to like it there. We're going to move you 15 minutes out. And within two weeks, I was there. I decided to sell all my stuff on Facebook Marketplace or Because at that time, a lot of business coaches were telling you that you needed to run your business through Facebook, even though I hated Facebook and knew as somebody that went to business school, Facebook was so unethical. I'd still had it at that time because that was when I was really listening to what everyone was telling me to do because I was new and owning my own business. So I ended up set when I tell you I put everything in my apartment for sale within 24 hours. The only thing I had left was a love seat and a television, which was also sold like right after that. So it was like I sold everything and I packed my car around Ghost 
And we drove to Florida. I said I wanted to do it in a straight shot. We made it in like, I want to say 27 hours. I slept three times for like 40 minute increments in my in the front seat of my car in parking rest areas. Like I know that everyone talks about how the world is so unsafe for women, but that's never a paradigm that I've ever played into. And when I tell you I've put myself in some really fucking scary and shitty situations during my drug decade. I've always been safe. Like I have always been safe. I've never bought into that. So that's just, you know, maybe a mindset you want to take on if you're a woman like that. I'm good. I'm good. I'm always safe everywhere I am. And this is not something that I doubt at all. So anyway, I decided to move to Southern Florida and it was like, boom, I quit my job. I was in Southern Florida, I was launching my business. At that time, I was doing a lot of human design readings and I was creating this program. So I say all of this because it was like the Alexa that was recording that program, yes, had been learning all of this for a long time, but hadn't been teaching it, hadn't been creating digital programs, hadn't really had that big of a social media presence. Short form video content was not even a thing at that point. It was only long form. Yes, I was creating some YouTube videos. They are still up on my channel if you want to see baby Alexa, like before I even left New York. And so it was like the Alexa that you meet in that first program, she's very foundational in what she's talking about there. It's very like matter of fact, because I just did not have at this point, four years of solid, solid, solid information. When I tell you that I have submersed myself in the personal development, in the mindset, in the manifestation, in the wellness space, like when I I have submersed myself, the only time that I have not been doing this work is when I decide to like just have some like chill time and watch television. If I'm reading a book, if I'm listening to an audiobook, when I'm eating lunch and I'm watching something, it's all personal development. It is all mindset. The only time that I've ever taken a break was when I was watching television. And I'm telling you, I even stopped listening to music for about two years and only listened to audiobooks, only listened to other mentors and coaches and programs that I had invested in. Like, Y'all, when I tell you that I have not taken a break, I have been so invested in becoming the best version of myself, so invested in becoming the best mentor that I could, so that way I could lead my clients and meet my clients. Because one thing about me is I might not have been through the exact experience you have been through, but the reason why I had my drug decade, the reason why I suffered from (sighs) clinical depression and anxiety and body dysmorphia and all of the things was because I can now confidently say that it doesn't matter what you've been through. I've been through something similar and I can help you. And so what's been so beautiful is throughout this time, I've continued to create programs, whether it was a full-blown program or a challenge or a masterclass. I have been creating and creating and creating, and I have been learning and learning and learning, and I've been tying all of the things that I learn together and really being being able to make it very succinct. While yes, my current level of understanding is very, very deep. And so the the level of consciousness that I have now and the conversations that I have and the mentorship abilities that I have now they are not surface level. They are not that basic. We do go very, very deep and wide in my world. But when I had first started my business, I genuinely wanted to, of course, I wanted to help people. I wanted to take people on the journey that I went through from hating themselves, being miserable, hating their life, not knowing what they wanted to do with their career or actually be able to tap into their purpose. And have healthier lifestyles and be able to see themselves in a better light and be able to manifest their reality. Like, yes, I wanted to take people through that. But the one thing that really, really lit me up was being able to help women create businesses where they had time, location, and financial freedom. And I think that at the beginning of my business, I was so busy paying attention to what other coaches and mentors were saying that it really 
took me out of my power and it had me question myself. And I was like, well, how can I teach women, women in business financial freedom when I don't necessarily have that yet? I'm at the beginning of my business. And so I kind of didn't allow myself to step into that arena because I was listening to a lot of people that quite honestly, now going back, I just wish I never listened to because I went to business school. I was a subject matter expert in different areas of business for the New York state government for eight years. Like I know more about business than any business coach that I've ever seen on the internet because they all pride themselves on never going to business school and just creating a business and anyway. And so I saw a lot of unethical and I, to this day, see a lot of unethical business coaches on the internet. And for a while I was like, how can I enter into this arena when everything that everyone is teaching is fucking garbage? And so it just like frustrated me so much that I was like, ugh, it felt like where I was at with human design. I loved human design. I loved giving people readings, but it got to this point when I gave people readings or when I created content on human design, there were so many people teaching trendy human design, which is bullshit. Like it's one woman misinterpreted the entire system when it's not a system that's designed to be interpreted. It is a blueprint for you to actually act on. It is your specific energetic codes for satisfaction and success. And so I spent I spent so much time correct, correcting lies like there's specific and non-specific manifestors and projectors can only work three hours a day. And Manny Jens, anytime I hear somebody say the term Manny Jen, it's like nails on a chalkboard because I know you don't know what you're talking about in human design. <laughs> Manifesting generators are half manifestor, half generator, like all of these lies. And so it's like, I felt the same with business. How can I mentor women on business when everyone that they've ever learned from taught them, taught them the most bullshit business model and called it a simple business model? And so I just, I stayed in my lane. And so I just stayed in the mindset and the manifestation and the personal development world. And that's where I created, I want to say I have probably 25 programs at this point. I could even be more on specifically these topics. And after the beginning of this year, I was really starting to feel a little drained. And quite honestly, when you look at two and a half hours of coaching and mentorship and teaching five days a week and creating five videos a week and mentoring my clients, like, of course I got exhausted, especially because I dedicated four years to just learning and listening and doing all of this. And when I got to day 28 of unwavering, something just clicked in me. And I was like, I can't do this anymore. Like, I just, I have said everything. I've said everything that I could say about manifestation. I have said everything that I can say about self-concept. I have said everything that I can say about mindset. I have said everything that I can say about energetics. Like I, there is literally nothing else that I could say. So what I decided to do was I decided to close out, we'll make private all of my videos on YouTube, all of my all of my Q&As and I put them in my manifestation academy or my manifestation university. And so I put them all in there. My students still have access to them. And I really felt like there was this completion chapter. And it's like at this point, I feel complete when it comes to talking about manifestation, when it comes to creating very generalized or not even generalized, but specific manifestation programs. I just like if you're in Alchemy of Manifestation University, there's like what 25 programs and I teach you everything about everything. Like you if you're in that university, you don't have any questions because every single question has been answered. I am no longer going live on TikTok because quite honestly, it's just repetitive and redundant at this point. I am not coaching anybody in my comments or in my DMs. I don't understand how that even became a thing. I get that that really became a thing on TikTok because you could respond with a video, but I'm not doing any of that anymore. I'm not mentoring for free. I'm not coaching for free. I at this point I honestly don't even foresee me giving any free master classes. I have fully extended myself after doing the reprogram yourself challenge which I 
allowed a lot of people in for free. Hundreds of people were in that for free until I realized this was too draining and I need to put a price tag on this. And that's the best decision that I ever made. But yeah, I just gave so much of myself, so much of my time, so much of my energy to genuinely help people. And while I loved that, while it really taught me how incredible I am as a mentor, because if you've ever been on a Q&A with me, you know that I, there's never one time that I haven't been able to answer a question because I have never just stayed in one lane. I've learned all the things. But at this point, I just feel complete in talking about manifestation. And I just truly don't know that there's anything else that I can say between the podcast, between my programs, between my videos, between my posts, between my Q&As. Like I have literally said everything. So there was this part in me that was like, you've got to just switch to talking about business now. Like you have been in your own business for four years. You have witnessed what business coaches are teaching and doing. You have taken so many programs from so many different people. I like, cause while I may not have been always talking about business with you guys, sometimes there's some podcast episodes. And of course I did with my clients still. Like one of my specialties is a client coming to me for manifestation things and then actually her realizing that she wants to start a business, but she just doesn't necessarily know what that looks like for her. And then by the time we're done with mentorship, even if it's a one hour call, I've completely mapped out the business that they're starting. They've come up with a name. They've come up with their logo. They know exactly what they want their business to be about. We've come up with a social media strategy. We've come up with multiple ideas for them to make money. Like it's something that I'm amazing at and it's something that I love doing. So going forward, I say all of this to let you know that going forward, the episodes that you're going to hear on this podcast, while yes, maybe after I've had some time to like decompress from the manifestation world, maybe yes, I will every once in a while have a a download that I want to share in regards to manifestation. Maybe they will be sprinkled in, but going forward, this podcast is going to be more specifically fine-tuned for entrepreneurs, specifically female entrepreneurs. If you are a male or you're non-binary or whatever your gender is, you're of course welcome to listen. But like I always say in my world, we live in a masculine world that speaks to men and women have always been having to apply it to them. If you're a man in my world, you're absolutely welcome here, but you're going to need to do the opposite of what has always happened. Instead of speaking to you, I'm going to be speaking to women and you'll need to apply it to yourself if you don't identify as a woman. So if you're somebody that really wants to learn manifestation from me, Alchemy of Manifestation University, AOMU, has everything that you need. And quite honestly, the price point that I charge you for that university is the price that you would be paying for one of the programs in there and you get 20 plus programs. So you're still getting, you're literally saving $10,000 by joining the university rather than paying for all of my programs individually. So you can absolutely still join AOMU. I'm going to be keeping it open, but there are no longer group coaching calls. You just have access to, I don't even know how many Q&As there are, but there's over 100 hours of content easily just in those Q&As. Um, One other thing that I want to say is if there is a program that you did want to learn because I haven't been opening them up for the public to join until the 17th or the 16th, I want to say 16th, but I think it's the 17th. You can check my Instagram stories to find out what the correct date is. Um, You can get into any of my programs by getting a 30% off discount. Use the code, all capitals, W-T-F-N-O-T. Why the fuck not? Because I had a channel come through yesterday of why don't you give a 30% off coupon for all of your programs and open them all back up and have it for a week. So if there's anything you've been wanting to join, you can absolutely take advantage of that. Just go to my website. The link will be in the show notes. And you can cruise through my website. There are different categories. So like you could look into manifestation, you can look into business, you can look into mindset, you can look into self-concept, you can look into wealth, whatever, 
whatever is what you're looking for. And you can join any of those programs individually. That code is valid for more than one program. So you could potentially save hundreds of dollars. If you join more than one, you could, just, you could save thousands of dollars. So I invite you into any of the programs if you have been wanting to really learn from me. So going forward, the programs will all stay open. You can join them individually. But going forward, my content, my podcasts, my videos, my messaging is all going to be catered towards entrepreneurs, female entrepreneurs, specifically women that are service providers, people that are healers, coaches, mentors, educators. While I do work with other clients in different industries, this is where this is where my expertise is. This is what I've been doing for 4 years. And again, I tie everything together. So while yes, we're talking about business, there is still mindset principles. There are still sometimes manifestation principles. There are things that will trickle over. But I just want you to know that you're going to hear a completely different category of topics. While yes, like I said, they were sprinkled in throughout. These are now going to be more business focused and entrepreneurial focused. And I understand that that's not for everyone. And that is fine because one thing that I need you to know, specifically as a business owner, is the more that you actually speak to a very specific group of people, the more clients and money is actually going to be coming into your business because your business isn't for everyone. And that's one thing that I found speaking towards manifestation because that is really anybody who wants to better their lives. There's, I have a huge audience, I have over 25,000 followers. And a lot of them are not my ideal client. They're not my ideal audience because it was more generalized. Going forward, I might lose followers because I'm more niche down, you could say. But I'm absolutely okay with that because in my heart and soul, in this moment in time, I cannot talk about manifestation anymore. Your girl is tired. And as a manifesting generator, I am designed to love the work that I do and my satisfaction and my life force energy is rejuvenized when I'm doing this. And it is conversely also very, very drained. And I end up operating out of my not self theme of frustration, which will turn quickly into anger if I don't honor that. So if you're somebody that wants to learn manifestation from me, I welcome you to listen to my old podcast episodes, to check out my old YouTube videos, to check out my old TikTok videos. But going forward, we are going to be talking about business. And I'm really excited about this business and wealth and wealth energetics and wealth mindset and money work, because in my world, it's work. But yeah, so I'm really excited going forward. You're going to hear a lot of conversations about emotional intelligence as a business owner, operating in your personal power, the mindset for success, being a leader, being a trendsetter in your industry, innovating, creating content, leveraging your zone of genius, creating multiple offers, so many different things. So I'm really excited about that. And so I already, if you're not following me on Instagram, So far in the past week, I have already channeled through, I want to say three master classes and a full out program. So Unapologetic is now my business university. And this is the space for you to be in if you specifically want to learn business and learn to create evergreen digital programs and to learn how to create content and to learn how to utilize attraction marketing and to learn how to grow your business, and to learn how to stay in the energy and the mindset of a successful entrepreneur, to learn how to generate the amount of money that you made in a year, in a month. Like These are the conversations that we're going to be having in there. And I'm really excited because yesterday, it channeled through to me to create a very exclusive offer that's only going to be available for the members of Unapologetic. I will not be selling this individually. So if you want to learn all these things, I invite you into any of my latest masterclasses. One of them's dropping on Monday. Another one's going to be dropping shortly after that. And then there's another program. Like, we've got a lot coming. I've got a lot in store for you. So I'm so excited 
to be building out my business university, which will probably very quickly have as many programs as my manifestation university. So I will still support you in whatever area. If you are a client and you want to talk about self-concept and manifestation and mindset, like I'm there for you. But it's probably going to be that you are somebody that's an aspiring business owner or an established business owner. And we're having these conversations along with the business conversation. So I'm so excited for this new chapter of my business. I really feel like this is exactly what I need. I also feel like this is exactly what my followers need from me. I've had a lot of people who have been like, Alexa, I love the way you speak about business. I learned so much from you. I'm really excited for this shift. And these are people that have been following me or people that have been in my programs or people that have been in my university or people that have worked with me privately. And so I'm really excited because I think we are ready. If you are in my audience, if you've made it this far in the podcast, we are ready. So I'm so fucking excited for this. You can click on the link in the show notes and you will have access to any of the things. If you want to apply for mentorship with me, there's now a three month, a six month, a 12 month option. I also did open up some short term mentorship options. Just DM me if that's something that you're interested in. If you want to join any of the master classes that are upcoming or my newest program, you can go to the link in bio. Like it's very cleanly laid out in there. If you want to join Unapologetic, you'll get access to all of the things. So you'll get access to all of my business programs that are launching and all of my pre existing business programs that I've had. I am revamping a few of them. I've got a lot of new ones coming. So there's just going to be a lot coming up. So I'm so excited. This was more of like a catch up, let you know what's happening, give you some like background story. Next episode, we'll be diving more into business, energetics and business, success and business, mindset and business, making money, all of the things. So I love you guys so much. Thank you for being here and I'll see you in the next episode. Bye. Thank you so much for listening to this episode. If you're ready to go deeper and to get into my world, you can go to my website, alexaraysmith.com. You'll find all of my current programs on there. If you're desiring to get mentored by me, then the best thing to do is shoot me a DM on Instagram and we can talk about mentorship options and which one's the best fit for you. If you're absolutely loving this podcast, please go rate it five stars and let me know why you're loving it. This will help me share the podcast with more people. Thank you so much for spending your time with me. And until the next episode, keep manifesting the most incredible life.